Yo, what is going on everyone? Guiding Light here back with another quick video and in this one I'm going to be bringing you guys season one of the new Modern Warfare Zombies. Now, as you guys know, leading up to this, we already had three acts of missions to complete. If you guys have already completed them, now today we were supposed to unlock Act 4. Now, for Act 4, we're actually not going to be getting a whole set of missions. Instead, we're only just going to be getting this one final boss mission. So, in this video, guys, I will walk you through exactly how to get this one done. Now, I actually kind of am a little disappointed that we were only given a story mission. I definitely would have liked to see an entire act full of missions before just going straight into the story but nonetheless that is what we have unlocked today now as well as this final mission we're going to be getting an easter egg i'm going to be talking more about that in my next video but i'll just show you guys exactly how to get this mission done and exactly what you need to know about the next steps if you're trying to do more missions and when they'll be coming out things like that and exactly how we can get started on the easter egg now if you guys want to do this final mission you can jump in I do suggest trying to have a team though because it is definitely not something you're going to want to solo. You will want to have at least one to two more teammates if you can get them. Now another thing that might help is having a ray gun or an LMG in order to get this done. If you can spawn in with a pack a punch level 3 weapon, you're going to want to have a pack level 3 weapon and a second weapon that is at least pack level 2 as well. So when you get in here, make sure you start farming up some money, get some extra self revives together, things like that, because you will be going into a very tough boss mission in order to get this done. Now once your team has the necessary points you, that you need in order to pack up all your weapons and get all the gear and things you need, you're going to want to head over to this location on the map. Now just like any of the other story missions, you're going to have a special exfil to go to. Make sure you're going to the one that says bad signal on it. And once you get here, you're going to see this portal, which you can go into. Now, if you pay attention to the mini map while you're gearing up, you may see other teams getting ready to do the mission as well. I highly suggest that if you see other teams getting ready to go into the portal, that you run over there and group up with them. As this mission, it can be quite tough. And the more people you have in there, the easier it's going to be to get it done. So once you guys are ready, you will need to vote in order to actually have it pull you in. It's not going to pull an exfil chopper like some of the other story missions. So what you will need to do is actually open up your TAC map and there will be an option at the top right corner to actually vote to go in there. So if you're on a different side of the map and you didn't want to get pulled in, you don't necessarily have to anymore. So you will need to vote to be pulled in. I know I had a few teammates that were a little confused and couldn't figure out why they couldn't get in. And that is, that is why you just simply have to vote for it. Now once you guys are in, it will give you a small quest where you're going to have to go to four different seals and actually charge them up. Now in order to charge up these seals, it'll just say to kill zombies near the seal. It's pretty simple to do, if, especially if you've played other zombies in the past. It's the same as charging up any of the totems on any of those older zombie maps or like feeding one of the dogs. So just you and your team needs to stay near this crystal and as you can see each kill you get will start to charge up the crystal with the souls from the zombies. Now you're going to go around four different times to four different totems in order to get this done. Now keep in mind guys there's actually a there are resupply crates on the map and there also is a pack a punch machine on the map as well. So if you have the money you can actually pack a punch when you get in here however it's very hard to earn money when you're in here. But if you run out of ammo just keep an eye out because there are ammo boxes around as well and resupply crates where you can stack up on ammo as well. So the whole beginning is actually pretty easy, but once you have finished up all four of the totems, it will tell you to go ahead and leave the, the island. Once you go to leave, it will actually spawn a massive boss, quite similar to the one that was in Act 3. However, in my opinion, this one's actually a bit harder because there's almost nowhere to hide from it. Now, just like that boss in Act 3, there's going to be these little orbs that he shoots out, and they are going to track you and your teammates very, very aggressively, and they do a lot of damage. So the boss is really not too hard to kill, but as you can see, he shoots out these little orbs and they track you down. Those are the only things that you really have to worry about. Now, the best way to get this boss done, in my opinion, is to have like one or two people just simply focus on the boss and have anyone else on your team try to focus on keeping those orbs and the zombies off of the people who are doing damage. Now, if you work together, it's actually pretty easy. Now, I'm not sure why, but about halfway through the boss fight for us, the boss actually went and glitched out. So the orbs that you're seeing me track down and try to keep off my teammates actually kind of stopped spawning. They would spawn and then immediately just get stuck to the wall. So I'm not sure why that happened, but we got kind of lucky with that. Now, there's also a chance that some turrets will spawn up here. So if you have any circuit chips, you can actually go ahead and spawn some turrets for you and your teammates. That is definitely helpful. And so long as you and your teammates work together, this boss is not too hard to complete. My only tip is to try to stay up here on the street. Do not try to fight him down there on the beach as there's like almost no cover. And once he shoots these uh, static balls at you, there's almost nowhere to hide. So I suggest once the boss is out of the sand, you just run up here, try to use this building and the street as cover, and then try to just simply DPS the boss while you can keep you and your teammates safe from the zombies and those orb attacks.
Every 20 or 30 seconds, the boss will burrow into the sand, and the only way to get him to respawn is to actually run down into the sand. So in order to get the boss to respawn, if he's not respawning for you, just simply run down into the sand, and as soon as the boss starts to chase you down, you can just run back up to the street, and it should get him to actually respawn. Now, one final tip I can give you guys is that if you leave the boss area, like let's say you run out of ammo or something, and you leave the boss area to try to go get more, just keep in mind that if you do not stay within the boss area, for a certain amount of time, like once you leave, it will give the boss full health again. So just keep that in mind if you try to leave completely from the boss area because he will have full health when you come back. So that's pretty much it for this one, guys. It's pretty simple to get it done, especially if you can get a full team. Now that's pretty much it for this one, guys. Hopefully it helps, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.